let's get started on this delicious project. Here's all the things that I personally used for it. First things first, take your pot, measure off your butter and put the butter onto the stove. I put this on a medium heat so the butter could start melting. While the butter is melting, I am measuring off my marshmallows and my rice krispies. You can find everything you need in the description box with the measurements of what I personally used. Once the butter has melted, it is time to add the marshmallows into the mixture so you will let them melt as well while mixing it every now and then. This took me about 10 minutes because I used big marshmallows. If you can find them, use the smaller ones. Once the marshmallows have completely melted and you have an even mixture, start adding in the food coloring. I am using yellow and blue to create a beautiful green shade. Once you are happy with how it looks, it is time to add in the rice krispies. Though I would recommend using a bigger pot because I did struggle of mixing it all and it does become a very sticky mixture. Once you have mixed all of the Rice Krispies into the mixture, it's time to put them into a tray to cool down. I preferably use a square-ish shaped tray and you will line it with baking paper and also use some baking paper to press it in so everything is nice and compact and follows the shape. Once you've let it dry, this took me about half an hour to an hour, I actually was doing another project, you will cut it into more or less square pieces. Now this looks a lot easier than it actually was because I did struggle and then I did pull them apart to be able to decorate them. What I used for mine is I coated the tops in melted chocolate to create the hair and then afterwards with a deco pen, this one is by Dr. Utker and these are all chocolate flavors, I used a darker pen to create the eyes and the mouth and then afterwards a white chocolate pen to create the eyeballs, so the white of the eyes. You can also use melted chocolate for this both methods work just fine I think they both came out very well and very tasty and then the last step is letting them cool down before you can eat them and here's the finished tasty result